Hello, my name is Steve Bowler, and I want to welcome you to the Juniper Series 2 introduction video. In this video, I just want to talk a little bit about Series 2, how you would use it, what you would use Juniper Series 2 for, and some of the topics that are covered in Juniper Series 2. If you are watching this video, that means that you have interest in Juniper and you might have already purchased the Bowler CBT Labs Juniper Series 1. So Juniper Series Juniper Series 1 is an introduction into Juniper. We go over a lot of the introductory topics. And so what Juniper Series 2 is going to help you with is get deeper into some of the routing protocols. We're going to get into advanced BGP, ISIS, advanced OSPF, IPv6, and RIP version 2. So we provide you in Juniper Series 2 with 20 total videos that total up to over 12 hours of training. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the topics we cover. We're going to go over BGP, some of the BGP attributes. We're going to cover next hop. We're going to cover route reflectors. We go over the AS path BGP attribute. Multi exit discriminator, the med BGP attribute, the local preference BGP attribute multipath and load balancing as well. We have so that totals up to lab three so one, two, three, four, five, six total BGP videos. And then we have three IPv6 videos. IPv6 lab one we're gonna go over static routing. IPv6 lab two we go over rip NG or RIP Next Generation. IPv6 Lab 3, we go over OSPF V3 and the basics of OSPF V3. In Juniper Series 2, we are going to start covering intermediate system to intermediate system, otherwise known as ISIS. We have three videos on ISIS. The first video is the basics of ISIS. The second video we go over multi-area and also multi-level ISIS. ISIS lab number three we go over ISIS authentication. Also with Juniper series two we have one, two, three, four, five, six we have six labs on OSPF. We're going to talk about some advanced features such as OSPF authentication, virtual links, stub areas, not so stubby areas, or NSSAs. We go over internal route summarization within OSPF and also external route summarization within OSPF. And then our last video is RIP version 2 authentication. So over 12 hours of advanced BGP, ISIS, OSPF, IPv6, and RIP version 2, that is all part of Juniper Series 2. And also I wanted to show you that with Juniper Series 2, we provide you with some initial configurations of the devices. Juniper Series 1 there wasn't a whole lot of very advanced labs and videos so I didn't provide those but what we see in Juniper Series 2 is that some of the videos are pretty advanced and the initial device configurations can be very overwhelming so for instance if we click on 
Juniper BGP Lab 5 initial configs. What we see is that we have the initial configurations for all of the routers. So that's going to help you out too if you're following us and you want to practice along. What I have done with these videos, with these labs, most of them I use logical tunnel interfaces. If we open this back up, you can see our interfaces are logical tunnel. You can substitute this very easily if you're going to practice this at home or in your lab with either your physical interfaces or also the EM interface option as well. And a great feature along with Juniper Series 2 is that the order to which to view the videos is pretty much you can watch them in any order that you want. In Juniper Series 1 it was more structured to where if it was your introduction into Juniper and Junos I had some introduction videos in which you watched first but in Juniper Series 2 if you're studying and you have purchased these videos for your Juniper certifications what I would do is go to the Juniper Networks certification website say for instance for the JNCIS or JNCIP and look at the topic that you're covering and the chances are that one of those are multiple of those topics that are on the Juniper Network certification website are covered and so what I would do is just watch the corresponding video that I have on that topic that's on the certification blueprint these videos not only are going to benefit you if you are studying for Juniper certifications such as the JNCIA, JNCIS, JNCIP, or JNCIE, but these videos will help you in the day-to-day -day on the job training if you work and you have Juniper devices at your job. So these videos and labs are not just for people taking advanced Juniper certifications but also for real world application to help you out on the job. One last thing about the Juniper Network Certification Program. I have looked at the both the service provider and the enterprise routing and switching blueprints for most of their certifications from the specialist level up to the expert level and a lot of these topics are covered on those exam blueprints so these videos will help you out immensely if you're studying for Juniper Networks certifications. If we go back to our initial configurations you can see that there's not 20 documents listed and that's because there are no initial configs for some of the labs. So some of the labs I start from scratch and build from the ground up and those labs do not have initial configurations with them. But as you can see most of them, I'd say 75% of the labs, I have provided you with the initial configuration. So that about wraps it up for our Juniper Series 2 introduction video. Once again, I want to wish you the best of luck on your Juniper Networks certification exams. 
and also for the real world application on the job. These videos are going to help you out tremendously as they provide you with advanced BGP, ISIS, OSPF, IPv6, and RIP version 2 knowledge. Thanks and have a great day.